our family actually moved to Spotsylvania so that our kids could attend the school. Um, I wanted to say something that I said at the Planning Commission meeting, and that is that um, by moving the school, you'll be taking it off an F-rated corridor, a high-volume corridor, and moving it to an A-rated corridor, and it'll stay an A-rated corridor as far as the level of service goes. I, I feel like that's a very wise move for the county to make, and one of the complaints has been the speed of traffic on Gordon Road, but with 25 mile an hour school signs, that's going to alleviate that the uh, lack of view that people have been complaining about with, in addition with the speed. The traffic issue is also a very real thing. I have pictures on my phone if anybody wants to see it, of what the intersection looks like at Brown's Farm and Gordon Road. I work for the county and every day when I go to work, I'm making that left hand turn and it's not just look, look, it is definitely a head on a swivel. And you might think you're clear, and by the time you're coming out, somebody's coming around that corner well in excess of 45 miles an hour, and they said that there's only been the one crash in that intersection. I'm not sure. If My wife and I have lived in Spotsylvania County for 48 years, and we moved to our present location on the Nye River Reservoir 29 years ago to escape the inevitable growth along the Route 3 corridor. Our house is across from the proposed site of the Summit Academy and directly across from the rec reservoir recreation area where residents come to fish, kayak, canoe, and just enjoy the beauty of the pastoral setting. The, pro the proposed property sits on a parcel zone rural district. If this request is approved, it will produce a domino effect. Inevitably, there will be additional requests for special use permits to develop in this zoned rural area. And I'm a sophomore at the Summit Academy. As I mentioned previously at the planning committee meeting, my family has been members of Spotsylvania County since the 1800s uh, with our land backing right up to the Spotsylvania battlefield. We also live in Stewart's Crossing and belong to the Livingston District. I am your neighbor. Uh, my siblings and I volunteer for service, not only at our school and church, but with Frederick for Christian Athletes and other community mission trips. Likewise, many people in our community have made sacrifices to serve us. This includes our teachers, parents, and most importantly of all, the Zoan Baptist Church, uh, whose members have offered us a place to meet and start the summit. Because of their example, the school culture is one of integrity, respect, as well as love, and most of all, grace. All of these people have been strong examples of what it means to be a healthy community with an eye towards the future. At this point, the school is growing, the school is outgrowing its current location, and unfortunately, so is the traffic on Route 3. However, this means that we have an opportunity to continue to grow and to build for the future on the Gordon Road location. I understand it will take a few more years to complete this campus, and I may never be able to attend a class at our permanent facility, but I'm very proud to be a part of our school's progress and of the future students who will continue in our community. We know that our stability as a community and as a country depends on the strength of our education, that the education always serves the community when it is rooted in freedom, a duty to our neighbors, and the love of God. Uh, the vision of the Summit Academy is to educate our youth in fullness of the Catholic faith. I can attest by the grace of God and cooperation with our parents and in the faculty of the Summit Academy, each student will grow to be, in, to be of infinite value to the community of Stewart's Crossing and of Spaltavania County. I myself have six children. One has gone to a county school, three go to the Summit, two are homeschooled. There are lots of opportunities in this county. Every child needs a different path. We have looked at multiple properties for our school. We have prayed for properties for our school. We have prayed for the families to love our school. We were blessed with a donation of the land for our school. It is hard to get land for a school. We went to St. Patrick's Church, already had a school to get the land to get the money to build a bigger school on the land we already owned was hard. It is hard. You guys know it is hard for you guys just to build a school in our county. You can't find the land. There's not enough. And then you get enough and there's not enough for a football field. There's not enough for a baseball field. It's never enough. There's not enough. We have been given the opportunity to build Yes, an amazing school. I cannot praise the school. I cannot praise the teachers. I cannot praise the students on how great this school is. I can't give them enough praise. 
but we belong here in this county. We belong on Gordon Road. We belong here because we are a light that needs to shine here in this county. Our students will make it right. We will make it right. We will love Stewart's Crossing. We already love Stewart's Crossing. We are thankful for the land that's been donated there. The reality is they pay taxes. They'll pay real estate tax, county real estate tax, they'll pay personal property tax, and any other applicable county taxes. They're not exempt. Only you can exempt them from that. And that's not the case today, nor will it be in the future. Any future change to this project, meaning if there are lights to be utilized on the site, would have to be approved by this board. There's a special use permit that prohibits lights being used on the site and activity, outdoor activities ending at 7 o'clock. This project has been fully vetted. The communities had a say and respect what they had to say. The county staff has analyzed this project and determined that uh, it favors the project in regards to the balance of the application. The choice in education, the education that they provide is top notch. Um, they do it with a faith based uh, education, and I believe, you know, just personally, I, I feel that is more needed in our country uh, a more faith based education and being grounded uh, in one's faith. Uh, so there's no question uh, the good that the school does or anything of that nature. Um, you know, for me, I, I happen to like sitting out on the back deck listening to Spotsy High's football games. But, you know, I, you know once a night, always a night. So, but, uh, but I understand where others, you know, move to a rural area to enjoy the tranquility and the peace and quiet. Uh, uh, so I take all these, con all these concerns into consideration. You know, the biggest thing that I take serious, that, that I take most important, and I mentioned it earlier with the cell phone, is that you know I no matter what my personal feelings may be on something I was put into a position uh, as a representative of the people of Livingston uh, I do know we have some residents of Livingston who support the summit and attend the summit uh, overwhelmingly though the vast majority of the feedback that I've been getting from folks not just on Brown's farm and Stewart's Crossing right but I actually thought I had uh, constituents in, in Nye River Landing, but they're apparently they're chancellor. So, uh, but all the way, you know, on the eastern side to, to Nye River Landing, uh, I've had some folks from Goshen Baptist Church reach out to me that attend that church just on their concerns on Gordon. Um, and then also uh, Lake Acres, and it's just all up and down Gordon. It's not just Stewart's Crossing, right? Because as as board members we sometimes have to filter out some of the some of the feedback we get because of it's in my backyard of course you're not going to want it right but the feedback i've been getting is up and down gordon um and it's it has to do with traffic uh safety concerns what's there in the future what's planning on, on being built in the future and, and there's absolutely no question uh, regarding the school or their mission or their values or anything of that nature. Um, I cannot support this.